Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is Grey's Anatomy Saturn, and it's going to be seasons 1 through 14. This is requested by a Patreon subscriber. You too can join the Patreon link down below. The description will get you there. Do a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately, and you can come check them out. And let's go. There are five stages of grief. Denial. Maybe there'll be a miracle. I need you to say it. Henry is dead. Oh. And you didn't know any better! I'm scared of everything! I'm scared to move! I'm scared to breathe! I'm scared to touch you! If you're not aware, uh, they do have quiet rooms in hospitals. That's what I've seen them called. Uh, basically where they call you into that room and then the doctor tells you about the diagnosis. So they don't really usually come out and just tell you if it's a bad diagnosis in the middle of the room, in the waiting room with everybody else. They actually call you into this tiny little room. It's got a... I've looked in one once. It's got a box of tissues and whatnot, but uh, it's a usually just table and a couple chairs and uh, not a place you want to be called into basically. I don't know if all hospitals have that, but the ones I've been to have had it. Like some sort of explosion happened. Bargaining. I will always be in love with you. I will always be in love with you. Yeah. Which is why you have to stay alive. Hmm. What about me? Damn. What about me when you go to the light? Is no, I get it. Okay, I get it. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. But what about me? Is that Jeffrey Dean Morgan, like, years ago? Depression. How could you do it? How could you unplug him without letting me know? I didn't get to see him. I didn't get to tell him goodbye. I thought... I remember so vividly that, um... Terry Schiavo case in Florida, Central Florida. I actually lived there during that time. So it was all that everybody was talking about. I was in school. We would go into school. We'd talk about it. We'd debate it in class. And, you know, just all the news was covering it. And oh, it was just never ending. And uh, it was a really sad situation. Um, yeah, it just you would have that still sticks with me. I still remember the name. If you're unaware of who Terry Shiva was, um, basically a person became, well, there's one way to say it, and then there's another way to say it. I'll try to come up with a more clever way to say it. Um, unresponsive. Still cognizant activity, but unresponsive to any sort of um, input, I guess you could say. Or no, they weren't able to do output but they were able to take input. Uh, and it was a big case of who has the right to pull the plug. Is there a right to pull the plug? Um, yeah, it was just a massive discussion. Stars before you left. 
and then I let him go. How I carry well, this is sufficiently emotional. And it almost killed me. My God. Tugging at the heartstrings. And the longer I sat there, the more I felt like I was dying. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't move. Spoiler alert, that was a big one. Acceptance. Recognize that dude. I'm starting to capture a theme here. Um, it seems like their family members don't exactly stick around or their love interests, uh, but they have to find a way to continue to provide health care to other people all while they're going through this horrific shit. Pretty awful. In a good way, for Michelle. Awful for those characters. The shortness of breath I'll explain The infinite How rare And beautiful It truly is That we exist Big ol' spoiler. <laughs> Big ol' spoiler, we went back to it again and again and again and again. Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw out some love. What makes life truly beautiful is the fact that life ends. If we just lived on forever, I don't know. It just, it wouldn't seem nearly as special and as, as important and crucial to make the best of your time. It just, it, it would remove all meaning to why we're here, you know, what we're doing. Um, it's almost like an infinite amount of do-overs just in the same life. The amount of strength to be able to deal with life and death, bringing people back from the brink, helping people with, you know, some severe stuff, some not-so-severe stuff, some life-altering stuff, where it's not exactly deadly, but it could, you know affect them forever in an uncomfortable way, painful way, etc. The ability to get up every morning and to be able to do those good deeds is really commendable. Obviously, those in the healthcare field are handsomely rewarded for their efforts, but frankly, they should be. I mean, they're doing some pretty difficult stuff. Whether or not it's what they're doing or whether or not it's dealing with what they do, that's going to be one of the hardest parts. Doing a surgery is one thing. Being able to deal with the fact that that person died on your table, your operating table, while you were trying to fix them, while you were trying to deal with a trauma or whatever, or remove something or whatnot, that's going to be the toughest part. As with everything, I'm assuming, uh, even surgically, I mean, once you get in there, you kind of get an idea of what you have to deal with, and it's never the same thing twice, but... Chances are, after a couple years of surgery, you've seen just about everything. I don't know if you've ever heard of this show called Botched. Uh, it's basically two plastic surgeons who help people, whether it's dealing with bad plastic surgery and they've had like two, three, four, five bad procedures and they're looking to finally get it fixed, or it's something more congenital like, you know, cleft palate or something like that. They're two of the finest plastic surgeons in the US and they do amazing work. And one of the things that one of the surgeons always says is, look, we have these great plans and everything, but you don't really know until you get in there and see what's going on. 
So you can have all the plans in the world, but really the best experience is real life experience, is surgical experience. So you know what to do when you come up against weird scenarios. Highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. Uh, you have to be a little bit, they do censor a lot of like the over the top surgical uh, gore, if you will. But uh, you do see quite a bit of stuff. So <laughs> if you have a weak stomach, maybe don't check that out. Definitely seems like Meredith Grey went through quite a bit of struggle there with losing loves, losing family members, and still having to get up every day and do her job, which is just... Boy, humans have to be commended for our, uh, our ability to bounce back, even in the most heinous, tragic circumstances. That was definitely a lot more emotional than I was originally planning it to be. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad I had a candle lit. That's my one and only Halloween decoration. It's a uh, spiced pumpkin candle. And uh, it has this place smelling really freaking good, honestly. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on the video down below. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Hope you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.